What's up, Pop Sugar? This is Coach Renier Pollard, and I am back with a 30 minute body weight Tabata inspired workout. Let's get sweaty. All right, let's get things started. We're gonna start off with a nice standing cat and cow motion. I want you to have your palms up, shoulders away from the ears, chest open, and as you reach forward towards me, point those thumbs down. We're going through some internal and external rotation. Allow your spine to move with it. Get that whole upper body feeling good and lubricated. Now this beginning of the workout, I want you to know is not on a Tabata interval. We are just going to move and feel it. Now as you're reaching towards me, I want you to give me a nice squat here, palms facing out before coming back up to a nice external rotation, chest up and open. Let's take a nice deep breath as we sit into the squats. You know we're gonna be getting into that today. Now when I stand up tall, you'll notice I'm getting into a slight back bend. I'm squeezing my butt, opening my chest more and more towards that sky. Reach and sit on down low. And now I'm gonna take things up another level. After I get down low, I'm gonna take my arms up to a field goal, reach back forward, squeeze that booty, and stand up nice and tall. The back bend at the very top can get larger and larger. The more that you lean back, the more you're gonna open up those hip flexors. And ooh, if you're feeling like me, that's feeling really good. Ooh, did I forget to get my field goal at the bottom? I might have for one or two, but I know you did it. We're reaching forward, we're sitting low. We've got another 30 seconds here before we get into this delicious workout. Now I will tell you, this is Tabata inspired. For anybody that knows me, you know I like to joke, you know I like to sweat, and you know I like a good inspired by a Tabata workout which means there are gonna be some 20 second intervals and sometimes we're gonna to go to a nice 40 second interval. The world is your oyster and I want you to act like it. Let's shake it out, shake it out and we're gonna get right into our first 20 second activity right here. I'm gonna be on the ground. You definitely can stay on those knees if that's what feels right for you and then we're gonna get some good shoulder taps. As little movement through the hips as possible. Let's get the first set right here. Now, if you're on the toes like I am, you can choose to keep the feet shoulder width apart. That is a good aim right there. We got 10 more seconds, just tapping the toes, driving the belly button in towards your spine to keep your abs on. Rest right there. You know whenever it's a short work interval, that means it's a short rest period as well. Right back onto those hands and tap it up. Now, if you ever want to opt out of the resting interval, the answer is yes, go ahead. This workout is a collaboration between you and I. I'm just giving you suggestions. With that in mind, we have three more seconds here before we rest. And now your next option is between every two taps, one push up, okay? You can do that all on the knees. All I want you to do is enjoy yourself. Please, so tap, tap, and a push up. Ooh, nice and low, supporting those hips. I'm only going for three or four push ups in this 20 second interval. Give me what you can, give me what you can. Last one here, and rest. Now, you can take it up another level by doing one between each tap. You with me on this? Three, two, go. Now, my style of Tabata evolves quickly. Um, every minute, you know you're changing exercises, but I want you to know, you can always stay with the exercise that makes you feel comfortable. So, if I evolve it, and things are a little too crazy for you, rest. Remember to go back to where things did not feel crazy. Next up, we're doing opposite hand to knee. If you're on the toes, you're with me. If you're not on the toes, I want you to stay tapping that opposite shoulder. Come with it and give me the same intensity, trying to keep your hips as still as possible. Tap, 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 tap. Four seconds to go, fight hard. Three, two, one, and rest. We have three 20 second intervals left. 
You already see I'm winning my sweat competition. Catch up in this game, okay? Second round of those knee taps, go. Ha, oh, you see me wobbling side to side, really challenging my low back and multifidi. Those are stabilizer muscles. We got seven seconds. Oh, feel it, let it feel good and breathe through. That'll help you connect to that core too. Rest. Now again, after each tap, after two taps, I'm getting into a push-up. Let's see what we can do. Go, two more rounds here. Tap, tap, and a push-up. <sighs> tap, tap, and a push-up. <sighs> I know, you're like, I really wanna get more push-ups in. Let me rush these taps. No, control, stability, that's where it's at. One more here, and rest. Now, one more round, and our little upper body Tabata right now. If you can handle it, a push up between each tap. Go, last set, make it hot. Ooh, okay, shoulders, I feel you. Anterior delts are on and firing. So are my abdominals. Let's not forget, push ups are just moving planks, you know what I mean? Ooh, I heard you say yes, thank you for responding. Last one here, finish strong. Yeah. Rest. If you'd like, you can have a quick moment in child's pose. But trust me, I mean quick. We're standing up right away. Yes, the upper body is burning. And that's why we're gonna go right to the lower body, keep these calories burning nice and strong. What I want you to do is give me a squat that gets parallel to those knees or as low as you feel comfortable and halfway back up, abs stay tight. Pretend that is a full rep. I want 40 seconds in this position. I call these my super tabatas. Okay, let's get low, halfway up. Get low, halfway up. You know anytime Rainier is leading a workout, I wanna give you some time to feel like you're bouncing that booty. Okay, getting into these hips, grooving to some music. If you wanna shake it side to side, I am not gonna be the one to tell you no. That's 20 seconds down, you have 20 seconds to go. See? This is why I got put in charge. You wanted to get a nice challenge today. You would have been mad at me if I said, stop at that first 20 seconds. 10 more seconds here, let it burn. Pushing through those heels, chest staying up nice and tall. We're gonna get into these quads. Four, three, two, and rest. Now, if you don't wanna jump today, you give me another set of those. If you are jumping, notice, I am not gonna get all the way up. I am gonna keep myself in a shortened position so my quads can burn. I feel what's really going on here. 20 second bout, first one in two seconds, go. It's a little hop, a little hop. Normally I'm telling you to squeeze your booty, get it all the way forward here, no. Little hop, let the burn set in and keep fighting. My hands are moving with me. I like to pick my hands up as I drop my hips low to help me keep my chest up high. Oh, rest, one more set of those. You could always dance in between. That's doing the right thing. Keep the body moving. Keep this body moving. Three, two, second set, go. Again, if you don't wanna jump, you do those half squats just like we were doing before. Low to halfway up. It's the same difference as what I'm doing with my plyometric, except I have to land this plyometric nice and soft, and that's gonna make the muscles burn that much more. You understand. And. Rest, very good job. You can always beat on these quads. Let it out, let it out. Now, let's get the other half of that squat. Halfway down, squeeze it forward. I'm not trying to finish in front. I want my butt to squeeze and push right back. Like there's a wall, just bouncing my booty forward. 40 second interval, let's go, squeeze it. Squeeze it, okay? Really focused on the glute here. Just thrusting forward, letting that booty burn. Even though I was more focused on the quad before, these glutes are already feeling it. That was part of my plan. Oh, the sweat is pouring. That's 20 seconds. Let's get that other 20. Back and right back in. Can you speed it up and keep that form together? As your butt pushes forward, can you drive your belly button in? Eight seconds, fight hard. Come on, fighting through. Give it to me, give it to me. Don't stop, don't stop believing. Rest, very nice. 
I think you already guessed what we have to do. If you're not jumping, give me another set of those. If you feel the spirit and you're feeling good, halfway back, squeeze it, only halfway down. Let's get it in, let's get it in, let's get that heart rate up, and let's enjoy ourselves. Go, squeeze it. So it's a soft bend in my knees, booty goes back, and I squeeze. Come on. Ooh, big fight. Breathing through, feeling something. Let's get it, yes! No mercy! No mercy, three, two, come on. And rest, very nice, one more time. One more time, this is what we live for. Give me the challenge, Rainier. Give me some challenge, I got you. Ready, go, come on. Squeeze, squeeze. Normally I'm trying to get you to sit really low. Here, you can just worry about the reps. Squeeze that booty, get right back up. Come on, 10 seconds, and we get a break from this lower body. Not a full break, but it's something. But it's something, come on. Keep fighting, keep fighting. You got it. And rest, very nice, very nice. You can be on the, uh, beat on these quads again if you like. And now, let's get on down. Now I wanna say, we're about to be on our hands for four minutes once again. This time, triceps are still active. A little bit more work on the back because we're in a nice crab position. What I want you to see is my hips are halfway between my, um, my heels and my hands, and I want to keep them like that. My booty comes off the ground, and I'm just going to focus on moving my feet a couple inches side to side. So right leg out to the side, and right back in. Left leg out to the side, and right back in. If you have trouble with this and you want to be flat on your back doing this activity while we're doing the crabs, giving me side to side, you'll still get some good glutes in there. And if you're on the have hands with me, gonna get a lot more triceps. Let's get that first set here. It's like you're stepping over a little gate and right back in. Step over a little gate and right back in, just like that. You're gonna notice immediately those hip flexors, those obliques, are feeling something delicious here. Ooh, yes. I'm actively pushing the ground away. I do not mind where your fingertips are pointing. They can point wherever you feel comfortable. Just try to keep pushing your booty towards the ground. Rest, just like that. In between, you can do any wrist exercise you want. Keep that blood flowing there. Let's get these wrists stronger. Second set, chest up. Let's go. My chest is up, I'm pushing my booty towards the ground. I'm not trying to thrust my hips up. Although my hamstrings are gonna get in this as well because they're stabilizing as I move that leg. Ooh, pushing through. Nice and quiet landings with these feet. Four, three, two, yes oblique and rest. Now next up, you know I always like to add something on, make it a little spicy. The leg goes out as it comes back in. Elbow to knee realness, and put it down where it started. Out, elbow to knee, low pause, and down. Let's get it here. Open, across, and ease low. Think of it like a bicycle that has less support. Oh yes, obliques, feel that. I'm breathing through nice and consistently. I like to strike a pose when my elbow comes in the knee. Um, if you feel like you cannot hold that pose as long, you are so successful, but give me your best attempt at putting down those limbs nice and quietly. Oh, come on, obliques, you better fight. 10 seconds, oh, gentle. Out, bring it across and down. Remember this, things are gonna come back to this later and rest, really good job. Now I'm gonna have us do a lateral crab. I love this exercise. Now the thing that I want you to think about, opposite arm and leg. So as my right leg moves out, my left arm comes in and then back. Move and across. Opposite arm and leg, one and two. Let me see you get into it. Let's go here. We go across and open. Hands together, hands apart. Hands together, hands apart. Opposite arm and leg with this movement. That's it, keep those hips off the ground. 
and keep it moving. This is how you get strength training with a side of cardio, baby. Just keep it moving, rest. Same deal, side to side. We do it again in five, four, three. The direction I go is the leg that moves first. One and two, one and two. Opposite arm and leg. <sighs> keep fighting, keep fighting. One and two. Ah, fight through, almost there, almost there. Ah, I'm gonna get back, I can make it, I can make it, and rest, okay. Now, last bit of this, because I know you were like, how are you gonna make this harder, can you do it? We go across, in, the leg on the outside is what comes across to the opposite knee. Move in that direction first, leg on the outside, comes across 40 seconds let's make it happen boom and boom the leg that's facing the outside that comes to the opposite knee foot on the inside is the direction you go and that is the foot that moves first yes a lot to remember but that's what we like about exercise Whew. it makes our brain work out mind body connection this is what we're here for and it is true the more that you have to think about what's going on, the more calories that are burning. You can look it up. This is not fake news. I got you. Last moments here, finish through. Come on. I want to end even, and I know I can. I'm going to make it across. Yes, I'm running over like seven seconds, like seven seconds. It's all good. You will forgive me for it. And rest. Nicely done. Any way you'd like to get up, you can. I'm gonna crawl forward, get a little squat, and then squeeze that booty, and come on up. Speaking of booties, we're gonna stay working on these hips and glute meats by going into some side lunges. Now, what I want you to focus on here is lining up your outside leg with your knee and your hips and your shoulders, all stacked versus being out here and trying to get a full split. I get that that looks cute but this is where the power is. Right underneath your body and stand tall. Right underneath your body and stand tall. We're starting with a long set so you can feel good about it and get accustomed to what's going on. Let's see it right here. 40 seconds, getting low to high, push through. How low can you get those hips? Push through, just like that. Now I take my opposite arm forward just to give my upper body something deliberate to do. A lot of times in life it's about setting an intention. And I want to set the intention to make my upper body help the lower body here, okay? Moving side to side. We just got halfway through if you're feeling the spirit and you can get faster without shortening the range of motion, please do so. 10 seconds, breathing through, feeling that heart rate get up, getting heart healthy and making these muscles burn, baby. Come on, last one here and rest. Now, I wanna go a little higher with that heart rate now. So we're going into some traditional skaters, still working that glute med, that lateral motion. So side to side, I can stay up tall, but what I really wanna focus on is pushing off that leg to get to the other side. 20 seconds, let's work. Push it, push it, push it. That rotation I'm getting after the push is gonna get into my obliques and I love it. Let me see a little spring action. Side to side, come on. Breathing through, landing soft, slight bend in the knees. Give me the power and rest. Anything you like, 10 seconds off. And remember, even when I say rest, that is just a suggestion. If you feel the spirit, keep moving. Second round of the skaters, go, come on. Side to side, make it hot. What do you got? If you have a lot of space, use it. Don't feel limited. Push through and give me that energy, Bill. Breathing through. <sighs> Staying determined, rest. Okay, let's get into some fun. Two skaters, one, two, one side lunge. Load it to that side, start all over. One, two, side lunge, and bring it. 40 seconds, go, one. Two, side lunge, bring it over. One, two, side lunge, bring it over. Ooh, feeling it already. Come on, 
It's a one, a two, a side lunge, and a boo! Okay, I just wanted to rhyme. It didn't work for me this time, but uh, you can't say I didn't try. 20 seconds, fight your heart, ha! And bring it, one and two. The knee is bent, it stays that way, I bring my leg over. When that leg travels to the other side of the working leg, you really feel your weight load on that glute med, and I love it. Last one here, finish strong, ha! Boom. Now that I got you feeling comfortable with that, let's change it. Three skaters, a one, a two, a three. Step out, step back in, start over. I can't example more than that, because I'm feeling tired. In three seconds, you go with me. Go, a one, a two, a three. Side lunge, bring it back to where you were from. Come on, three, two, one. Side lunge, bring it, three. Two, one, come on, last interval. Less than 25 seconds, feeling it. All through my core, low back is feeling it. Get stronger, baby, get stronger. Hello, ah. 12 seconds, keep breathing. There's no need to hold your breath. No need, it's not helping anybody. Ah. Ah. You better finish, you better, you better. Rest, oh my goodness. Ooh, that got me. But guess what? We get to go right down to the floor. It's like somebody planned this correctly. You get what I'm saying? I'm here for you. So what we're gonna do is get to some side plank realness. And this is my favorite time to really repeat what I said. If you wanna go longer than our work intervals, do it. You might be in side planks for the whole four minutes and I'll be proud of you for it, okay? So what we're gonna do to start, feet can be as wide as you like. The easiest it's gonna be is to keep your knees down rotate and lock out the leg that's on top. Have a moment. We're not just falling through the center. I want you to control down and then come up. 20 seconds to start. I'm gonna be on my feet, but I'm keeping my legs apart for later on. You'll see why. Ready, go. That first 20 second interval, you just rotate and reach. I get on my toes. I get all the way on the side of my feet. I reach. Oh, so both of these exercises work the obliques, work the glute meat. So if you feel spillover, just know I did that on purpose and you're welcome. Two, one, and rest. You know, this is a fun resting uh, position for me. Just get to lie here feeling seductive, feeling my magnificent self. Again, right into it. Don't get too comfortable with these 10 second breaks. You know better, you know better. I'm actively pushing my elbow into the ground to also help me in lifting my hips and giving it some delicious support, okay? Chest is open as I reach my hand to the sky. Last one here before things get a little frisky and rest. What's gonna happen now, the leg that is in front is just gonna go to the back and come right back to the front before twisting to the other side. We're gonna start right now and get a nice 40 second interval here. Feet apart, lift high, the leg that's in front goes to the back and then back to the front. So that's a nice little abduction movement, abduction away from the body. Good for working that glute med, glute max. Ooh, getting into the obliques, you heard me say it because I mean it and that's what we're doing. Abs staying tight, reaching nice and high, letting the sweat pour, and above all, enjoying yourself. Cause you're gonna do the things that you enjoy doing. So stop thinking of it as torture. This is a privilege. Movement is a privilege. Enjoy it and rest. Now, after my leg moves to the back, I'm gonna get some adduction, A-D-D, adduction. That leg in front's gonna come up. Then I come all the way over and switch to the other side. So let's start that here. The leg in front lifts up into the back. The leg that's now in front lifts, a nice little adduction, move back to the front before coming over to the other side. I know, it feels good, it feels meant to be. Lift it and bring it in. Inner thigh work, good stuff that a lot of folks are not getting in habitually. And you know, Rainier is here to change that. 
Oh, my favorite part is when you, we roll to the other side. That's when my obliques feel everything. It just travels through my core. And I'm like, oh, I love my job. <laughs> Breathe through, make it hot. Second to last set here. Keep fighting, keep fighting. And just to be even, rest. So, same deal. And if you don't need a rest, keep going. If you don't need it, keep it going. All we're gonna do is make this adduction lift a one and a half. That's all that changes, okay? Let's come onto those hands and finish strong. I take it up, over, lift, one and a half, and switch. Final set, make it hot, make it feel good. Up, one and a half, and down. Huh. Ooh. Yeah, this um, feels like a little bit of uh, like, what is that? Classical, modern dance, modern! I knew it was something, I knew it was something. Last moments here, let's get one more on each side for good measure. If I'm running over, I'm doing it on purpose. It was all part of the plan, because I give the people what they want, and I know this is what we need. Finishing off. Lift it, lower it, come back to center, and ease down to the floor. Very good job. We're right where we need to be to start off our stretch process. I wanna get a nice scorpion stretch, so I'm gonna have myself flat on my stomach, hands out at the side, palms facing down. As I lay myself down, I'm gonna focus in on getting this foot high. So my, already my hip flexor is feeling stretched. And then I'm gonna take it over and reach up towards the sky. Now already my arm that's on the ground is feeling a great shoulder and chest stretch. Now here, I'm gonna turn this hand around, get the back of my hand to my booty and then slide it up my back, opening up my chest. Taking a nice deep breath here and let it marinate. I'm stretching my body with my breath and exploring my range of motion by seeing how far back I can get that foot that is right behind me. Inhale. Exhale, coming back to center nice and slowly. We're not falling out of anything. We're controlling our body. A stretch is still a part of the workout. Now let's switch over to the other side. Up and over before reaching up high. Turning that hand around, getting some good internal rotation before sliding it up the back and opening up that chest. So much to love about this stretch. So let's take a moment to appreciate it and take in some deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, back to center, nice and gentle, good and calm. Before we bring our hands underneath the shoulders and push back into a child's pose for a moment and let you have one of these very early in the workout. We spent five seconds there. Let's spend a little bit longer this time. Oh, letting your hips just melt backwards. And I like to actively almost crawl my fingertips forward as my hips go back so I get a nice stretch to my lats. You can have a moment pushing the hips side to side like you're getting a good spinal wave. Just a couple seconds here before we sit on our booty. Three, two, exhale, coming up. And let's sit on the booty for just a bit. Legs open nice and wide. So with all this stretching, I like to try to make it as active as possible. Really use your legs and your obliques and your breath as we get into these stretches. First, I'm gonna lean over my right leg and I'm actively pushing my right heel into the ground, letting my hamstring be good and active through this. And then I'm reaching my left hand overhead. You can look through to the sky, reaching your hands in both directions. Take a deep breath, reach those arms and then push through your active leg, this right leg, as you exhale and take yourself over to the other side. So I'm really planning my weight. It's not that I just wanna stretch this hamstring. I want them to work under this deep range of motion, which I know we're ready for. Inhale. 
exhale, push and over, just like that. Let's get a couple more on each side. See if you can reach more and more with every deep breath. Inhale, exhale, push the ground away and move. And again, loading this leg. Inhale, exhale, last time on each side. Let's get it together. Breathe through, chest is open. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, push and over to our final side. Oh yes, stretch it, reach it, make it active. Inhale, exhale, push nice and tall. Now I'm gonna have my hands back, my chest up nice and open. You can slide these feet in. Deep breath here. You can stay here or squeeze your booty, lift up into a reverse plank with the goal of thrusting the hips high and opening that chest. Before exhaling, lowering the hips and reaching forward. We're just gonna get one more reach. Inhale. Exhale, push through those heels to stack your spine nice and tall. My arms go right behind me. And this time I'm gonna bring my feet in, push up onto my heels, have one last hip opener. I'm gonna use my elbows to open up these hips. I do this a lot of time as my warm up, but it's cool to get it in the cool down so you can feel how much warmed up you really are. And from here, take a deep breath, lift the chest before exhaling, lowering your chest and lifting those hips. Nice and high to the sky. You can have a moment here. How low can you get your hands? I want you to really load your heels with your weight, locking out your knees as much as possible, getting that back body stretch. And let's have a good moment for affirmation here. Are we proud of ourselves for putting in some delicious work today? Getting that mind body connection, shake your head, yes. And mean it, mean it. And will we let anything get in the way of us spreading the love that we need to spread in this world? Shake your head, no. I say the positive affirmations because I believe it and I want you to as well. One last deep breath, bending your knees, hugging your upper body, show yourself some love before exhaling, creeping up, and you can have one final back bend with me before stacking that spine nice and tall and appreciating what you just did. I am Coach Rainier Pollard. I had such a great time with you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>